What's going on you guys? Welcome to the single guy channel. I am not the single guy. So today we're going to talk about a question that I've gotten pretty frequently and that's how to date multiple women ethically. Because although the modern media will try and have you believe that the best thing is for uh, you know a man and woman just to get together and only see each other and be committed to each other, uh, there are a lot more types of relationships that have sprung up. And I would say typically men if they are dating, normally what they are looking for is they're looking for fun until the one. And if you are in the fun phase, you want to be able to do this in a way where you're not hurting people. You're not, you know, uh, making people feel like trash or they're garbage and, you know, paying attention to people's feelings. And so I get a lot of messages about this from guys that do want to be able to do this in a way where they're taking good care of that. So that's what I'm going to teach you in this video. This is something that I'm obviously very familiar with. Uh, so we're going to talk about kind of the steps, uh, the process behind this, um, how to date ethically how to do it, what are some boundaries and things to look out for, um, and should you keep this long term? Is this a good lifestyle choice for you in the future? So all those three things are going to be covered today. So the first thing that you want to do uh, when you're dating multiple women ethically or you're thinking about doing this is Honesty is the biggest thing, okay? You need to have good communication with the people that you're talking to. You want to set expectations from the beginning. And this doesn't mean just coming out and saying, hey, listen, I'm going to be sleeping with a bunch of other people and you're going to be one of those people. That's not the way that you want to word it. That just sounds kind of douchey and <laughs> uh, it just sounds mean spirited. So, uh, but what you do want to do is you do want to uh, not tell her something that's just not true. Don't make it indicate, not just with your words, but with your actions as well, that you're only seeing her. Uh, a lot of times I'll get guys that are like, I don't know why she thought we were in a relationship when I told her that I didn't want something serious. And I'm like, well, you told her you didn't want something serious, but then you went and you saw her every single day. She was spending half her time at your place and you talk on the phone all the time. Like that's being in a relationship. That's being a couple, a committed couple. All right, and then when you went and slept with somebody else, now you're surprised that she's angry at you. Well, obviously she shouldn't be. So uh, make sure that with what you're saying matches up with your actions as well too. So I would say that if you wanna keep the relationship casual, don't be seeing them in a serious manner. Don't be seeing them every single day. Don't be talking on the phone all the time, okay? This doesn't just mean that you restrict the amount of time that you're seeing them. Um, it, it encompasses a lot of other different things. Um, what you have to realize is that when you're upfront with this, when you're honest with people about this, there may be some women that aren't down for that. When you have this conversation and telling them, hey, you know, I'm just not really looking for anything serious right now, or I'm not looking to get into a committed relationship, and I, I kind of like where things are with you, and I want to see where that goes. If you say that, there are going to be some women that are going to be like, well, I am looking for something serious, and I do want a guy that's going to provide that for me. That's okay. You got to let those women go. You got to let those women go. Typically, I find that men that get in the most trouble with this are men that have just started to find success. They've just found out that they're attractive with women and they started to, you know, date multiple women at the same time and they, they lie. They lie very frequently. They feel like they have to pretend they're someone they're not. Dude, I'm telling you right now, you do not need to lie about things. I'm a freaking dating coach with a channel that teaches guys how to get girls. Like, it doesn't get much more blatant of who I am from the get-go. And I tell women this from the get-go. And are there women that basically say, hey, you know, like, you seem like a pretty cool guy, but you're just not the guy that I'm looking for? Yeah, I mean, that's happened in the past. Honestly, it doesn't really happen that much. Usually, if I am who I am, and I set the expectation from the beginning, then it's okay. The only time I get in trouble is when I come from that scarcity mindset that I have to lie, that I have to pretend to be someone that I'm not, and then that's when I start encountering problems. But luckily, I haven't done that for years, and of course, it's not been a problem. So again, start from an honest position. Start from a truthful position. When you say it, don't be a dick about it, but basically say, focus on the, I would focus on the positives. Um, you know, focus on the fact that you like the person, and above all, I would even start this conversation from this position. This is gonna be one of the biggest things that I cover in this video, which is you're dealing with another person. You're dealing with another person's feelings. Care about those feelings. Hopefully, if you're seeing someone consistently, however, in what shape or form, in whatever relationship it is, you care about the person that you're seeing. You care about her feelings. And so check in on her every once in a while. You know, say, hey, how do you think things are going between us? You know, make sure that she's having a good time. And if she's not having a good time and there are concerns, make sure that you allow her to do the best thing for herself. I don't know about you, but I do not want anybody spending time with me that overall, it makes their life worse. I wanna make people's lives 
better. And if I can't do that, I want them to be with somebody who is going to do that. And if you have that love and care for the people that you're around, then you're going to be surprised. You're going to see that your life's just going to be a lot better. You're going to have to do a lot less worrying. It's, gonna, it's not going to seem like, oh, I have to manage the situation that I'm in. It's going to seem a lot more free and just generally positive in, in your own life. It's not going to seem as much work. Uh, and the last thing that I'm going to talk about is, is this actually a good idea for you to do? So people call this a bunch of different names, being poly, being in an open relationship, being that sort of stuff. I would say most guys and a lot of, especially even entrepreneurs, they play around with this idea. Okay. I would say it's not the right thing for most people. Okay. I know people I'm, I've done this in the past and that's something that I enjoy doing. With a lot of my clients though, eventually they decide, you know what, I really like this one girl and I'm gonna stay with her. So I would try it out. I think every guy should get, you know, this is gonna sound kind of crass, but I think every guy should have the experience where they're kind of seeing multiple people or juggling girls, you know, <laughs> figuring out who they're gonna spend time with and then choosing the girl that they wanna spend the most time with, okay? Because I think ultimately that's what you're gonna figure out. But if you are in that fun zone, have fun in the fun zone, but do it in a way where you're not upsetting other people. Again, care about the people that you're around. Um, and I think you're, you're going to have the best time, uh, best time there. And, you know, eventually pick someone that does fit your fancy or keep doing what you're doing. Well, if you got anything out of this, guys, I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in getting coached by me personally, there's a form down below. I got a lot of cool new programs coming out that I think are going to be great for you guys. And uh, yeah, good luck out there.